Hello, I'm Dr. Knuse. Today we're going to look at insulation and the amount of insulation we need in an attic. Most attics will have a piece of paper that will tell you how much insulation we have in the attic. In this particular case, we're told that we have glass blowing wool or fire blown fiberglass. It is insulated to an R30 and it is 12.4 inches deep. The attic is one of the areas where we lose the most heat in the house. In order to stop that heat loss, we install insulation. The amount of insulation varies depending on what part of the country you live in. Here in Atlanta, Georgia, we're required to have a minimum of what's called R30. R is a measurement of heat flow. The higher the number, the greater the insulation. In this particular case, they have said that they have an R30. So with this fiberglass insulation, that means they're supposed to have 12.4 inches of insulation. To achieve R30 in this blown fiberglass insulation, we're supposed to have 12.4 inches. We have 14 inches depth, so we know we have at least R30 insulation, or in this case more than R30 insulation. In most attics, you will find areas that have been disturbed and the insulation has been moved around. In this particular case, you can see the top of the, of the ceiling joist, which typically means that the insulation is about seven and a half inches deep. If you want to double check, you can take your tape measure, push it in, and you can see here we're about seven inches of insulation. What you want to do in this case is get a rake, or you can even use your hands, and you can move the insulation back over <coughs> and redistribute it and get it back to that 12 and a half inches that was required to get us to R30 insulation. 